These are not the droids you are looking for. Get it? It looks like a droid. <laughs> so this is a new concept camera or webcam from Aver Media. And we're gonna delve into this quite a bit, but doesn't this look just like a droid? Look at that, that's crazy. This is a very interesting camera. It comes with a tripod. We'll get into it in just a second, but yes, two cameras in one webcam. Two cameras in one webcam. That's insane, that's interesting. We're gonna jump into it in just a second. Check out the timestamps and stuff down below if you're interested, and let's go ahead and roll that intro. Hey guys, today I wanna to talk about something that could really jumpstart your career in technology. Our sponsor, Southern New Hampshire University, offers an amazing online computer science degree program, so let's talk about it. If you're interested in starting a career in computer science, SNHU is a great place to start. SNHU has one of the largest accredited nonprofit online degree offerings in the country, and their computer science degree is designed to equip you with the skills needed for one of the nation's fastest growing fields. In this program, you'll learn popular programming languages such as Python, Java, and C++. You'll also gain experience in full stack development and cloud integration using JavaScript, NoSQL, and Amazon Web Services. Additionally, you'll dive into agile software methodologies and develop a security mindset to understand and address some of the biggest challenges in the tech industry today. SNHU provides cloud-based virtual environments in some courses, ensuring you have access to the technology you need for your degree and your career. And the best part, SNHU is radically affordable with some of the lowest online tuition rates in the nation. Go to snhu.edu forward slash how to tech linked in the description down below to see what the current average annual salary is for a developer and request free information about the program. When you request information, a real person will hop on a call and discuss how the program can benefit you personally. In the future, there'll be two categories of jobs, people who tell computers what to do and people who are told by computers what to do. Which one will you be? Thank you to Southern New Hampshire University for sponsoring this video, and don't forget to click that link in the description down below to learn more. Now back to the video. What's going on guys? Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And we've got something very interesting, and that is this new dual cam webcam from Aver Media. And there's actually quite a few use points and use cases for this thing that I think might actually make this a decent camera for you guys if you're interested in the market for something like this. So uh, just to get started first, it does come with the webcam and uh, you know, two cameras built in. And then also this neat little tripod and the tripod actually has some functionality and use points or use cases at least for it. And we'll talk about those in just a second. But let's go ahead and get started first with just build quality and what this is. So getting started first, we do have microphones built into this and we do have two individual webcams built into one. One USB-C cable is all that's needed to get these to show up on your computer. And they are labeled respectively in your computer as the camera left, L, and right, R. And we also have a privacy filter and if you don't want this on the stand, you can take it off and unscrew it, all that cool stuff. Let me go ahead and do that. And then you've got your like traditional mount, like ledge kind of mount that you can put on the back of your monitor and adjust this however you need to go ahead and kind of get that wherever you want. And then we've got our threading on the bottom, which is how our mount was on there. So let's get started first with really diving into what I think the use cases are for this. And once again, there's timestamps down below if you wanna jump forward and just see the camera quality or just see some of the features because there are some exclusive features into this software that you might not get elsewhere with other webcams that are out there, which is why this is kind of a very intriguing and interesting product for those of you that might be in the market for a webcam that pulls dual purpose. So let's go ahead, mount this sucker up and then I'm gonna hop into OBS and show you guys kind of what this looks like. So here we go, we're gonna plug this guy in, USB-C. So future Chad here, and the reason why is because I messed up the audio, I accidentally let the audio come back through twice, one through the webcam and one through my microphone, and it sounds absolutely awful with both of those playing at the same time, so I apologize. But what I really wanted to showcase was that you can go ahead and add in each camera that's hooked up to this webcam as a separate source inside of OBS, and that's just kind of what I'm doing here. And you can see that there are two cameras going at the same time, and both of these are the Avermedia 
media camera that we're talking about in this video. So there's that, and uh, yeah, let's get back to this video that I'm currently editing. So now let's go ahead and open up their Cam Engine software. And we can see right off the bat that we've got some different options here. We've got the ability for like a split cam, all that stuff I'll show you in just a second how to get there. But the first thing I wanna mention is there's multiple use cases and ways that you can utilize specifically this webcam. And that is through the profiles. They have three default set profiles and you can actually go through and add in your own profiles if you wanna set one up for yourself. And that's gonna make it really easy, especially if you plan on using this webcam for different things. Let's go ahead and we're on conference call now. Let's go to live stream. And we can utilize this differently and set up our presets. That's where we can get some virtual cam options and adjust that. We have full control over a lot of the stuff that you would expect over a webcam. So we can actually adjust for backlight, uh, gamma, white balance, opacity, brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, and sharpness. There's beauty filters. There's effects that you can add. We can set manual or autofocus. I had it set to manual there. And it'll try to pull focus on its own. I, from what I've noticed, manual focus is actually a lot better. You can really dial it in. So there we go. Kind of right in there would be pretty good for this camera. And then we also have um, virtual background technologies and stuff like that through NVIDIA or Intel, depending on your CPU. And you can actually go through and see if we can cut that out. Or we can do a blur if you wanted to go for more of a premium look. This effect actually sells better the further the webcam is from you. It kind of really sells that uh, blurred thing. It it's not the best quality. I would equate this to something like Microsoft Teams background removal or blur tool and maybe zooms. So that's where you kind of get this quality. Like I said, it's not the best. You can see, especially when I start moving my hands around that it, it does its best. It does the best it can do. We also have the ability for AI noise reduction and stuff with the microphone, if that's something you want to use. And let's go ahead and pop down to the portrait video. And we can see here that, um, yeah, if we wanted to do, say, like a TikTok live or something like that, um, we could just go ahead and go live to TikTok in like a portrait fashion. And it's got the ability to do that. And we can go through here and we can adjust this. We can scale this up if we wanted to. Um, we could actually go into the layouts and adjust these. So we could just have our main view, our camera at the bottom here, and we can just adjust those layouts however we want. So that's pretty neat. And we also, you know, have all the different settings for each of those cameras and adjust those however we see fit, as well as dialing in all those settings again. And you can still use all these other features as well that we previously talked about. So let's go back to, say, conference call. And let's see, I'm not seeing it under here. Maybe it's under live stream. One of these has a really neat feature we haven't talked about yet. All right, so I figured it out. For the keystoning to work, you actually have to use the right camera. And let me go ahead and find something to put in front of it. Uh, let's go ahead and just go with this battery from Sony. And then we'll try to keystone with this. So we'll click on the keystone option here, enable that. And then essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag it down to the proportions of what you're wanting to use. So I think a really good use case for this would be, let's say you had a a document or something on your desk and you wanted to showcase that to people or you wanted to be able to um, say do art or something and you really wanted to square up what you were showing your viewers well you can use this keystone tool and it's actually going to go ahead and do that for you now the text on this is microscopic it is very very small um, for example here's like one of my fingers right next to it it, it the text is very small um, if you were to do this on, say, like a sheet of paper, or if you were using, say, like a dry erase board, I think would be really cool. If you set that up to the side of your desk and took notes and showed people, you know, walked them through some concepts of some things, or even a drawing tablet would look really cool, or an iPad, and went through that. Uh, people could have a really nice look at that, but also not have to worry about it being distorted based on this camera angle, because it's, you know, built into also your face cam. So in conclusion, I think this is a really neat concept of a webcam that could have multiple use cases for people out there, whether you're doing something directly on your desk and you want to be able to showcase that and record it or live stream it to the internet, you can do that. If you wanted to, say, do a one-on-one -on -one interview with a webcam, you can actually just set this up in between you and another person, 
well, it comes with a little tripod that comes with it that makes that even a little bit easier. Or if you could find some really neat and other practical use cases, I think there are opportunities for that out there. It just depends on if you're creative enough to figure out what those could be for yourself. So with that being said, I think it's, I think it's a good webcam. I think it is a good purchase if you plan on utilizing all those features. If not, there are some better webcams that are out there, but this software is some of the best software that I've seen for a webcam on the market, pretty much period. So if you're interested, definitely go ahead and check it out. And as always, I suggest you guys go check out other reviews and just double check and make sure that, you know, there's not other issues or bugs that other people experience when reviewing their unit. And like I said earlier, this product was sent to me for review and that's why I'm giving you my honest opinions about it. I think some of you are gonna think this is really neat and other people are just gonna be like, yeah, it's, it's cool, but I have no use for it. And that, that might be the possibility for you. So whatever you guys think about this, let me know in the comment section down below. That's going to be all for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And if you want to check out another video, check out this one up here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.